Here are 45 strategy games from both indie and AAA developers published in the first part of 2022. These cover a broad selection of everything from complex turn-based 4X or tactical RPGs to fast-paced RTS, tycoons and simulation management games. My name is Peter and I will give you a short description of each game, while for more comprehensive individual overviews, use the links which are up here and in the description. New Home Medieval Village is a strange mix of medieval setting and modern zoning tool-based city-building game in which you respond to villagers' demands by creating new residential and commercial zones as well as crop fields. It even lets you customize base buildings or create new ones by using the in-game building editor. To attract wealthier villagers to your settlement, you create more advanced housing demands by building schools and libraries to educate villagers and keep them feeling safe and secure from things like runaway fires. Blacksmith Legend is an RPG management strategy where you inherit a small workshop and then proceed to develop it to new heights with recipes, equipment and employees. You get opportunities for riches by completing various quests that can get you on a darker, mischievous or lighter righteous path. Besides just blacksmithing, there is also smelting and alchemy, and with all three combined you can craft legendary sets and items. You can even go out to face epic creatures or savage bandits with your own heroes. Varno is a spiritual successor to the acclaimed war game series in which the Cold War goes hot with more than 600 different military units. It has tactical tools from smokescreen to off-map fire missions and lets you command customized battle groups made up of hundreds of air and land units on dynamic battlefields rich with tactical options and objectives. There are four strategic army general campaigns, operations and skirmish online modes which can be played solo or cooperatively with human or AI opponents in up to 10 vs 10 battles. Expeditions Rome is a turn-based party RPG with a fully voiced narrative where you lead Praetorians, but also your legion in military campaigns across Greece, North Africa and Gaul as you recruit legionaries, improve your war camp, conquer, exploit and defend your territories. Your character is customizable and there is a skill-based action system with a variety of skills and passive abilities. You can have 5 unique companions who can level up, loot, craft and equip a variety of weapons, armors and tactical items. Make Your Kingdom is a city building game, but with several twists like complete production chains and resource management, actual first-person combat against orc warriors, arsonists and thieves, as well as interaction with your subjects so you can motivate them and help them through sickness. The art style works in its favor as it allows all sorts of wacky building designs and lots of destruction by not just fire, but also different disasters due to weather conditions and the changing of the seasons and there is even a dynamic day and night cycle. Ancient War Sparta Definite Edition is a totally upgraded version of an old game with up to 8K support, new civilization, unit customization, epic large battles, unit and skill trees, 5 game modes, competitive multiplayer, 3 single player campaigns and a lot more. Its new edition lets you enjoy ancient history and real-time strategy warfare with a massive upgrade to graphics and textures. For all you skirmish fans, the reactive AI is advertised to respond to human players' actions and give you a run for your money. Solar Gene is a colony builder and manager in space with realistic physics of orbital flights where you start by assembling a space station in Earth's orbit using a very flexible construction system and later turn it into your first spaceship. But this will be only your first construction project as you will spread across the solar system. Each colony you start can trade with Earth and will grow with more astronauts. The dangers are radiation as well as food or water shortages. Even your robots can fail due to space dangers like soul flyers. Power to the People is a resource management game in which you build and maintain a power grid for a growing population while in danger of disasters like soul flares, lighting bolts and others. These can cause blackouts and result in angry customers. You can choose to produce more power from nuclear or renewables and even old school fossil fuels. Besides the wide array of power plant types and energy storage solutions, substations and power lines are also important links in your supply chain and have to be carefully managed. Diplomacy is not an option is a medieval base building RTS very innocent of Stronghold but on a much bigger scale with realistic laws of physics influencing everything from an arrow to a catapult boulder. Its battles not only have up to tens of thousands of units but also explosive magic spells, zombie armies and other monsters. You construct a settlement with resources found on the map and all game mechanics unlocked. In the campaign you will face moral dilemmas leading you to even overthrowing your own king. Nebula's Fleet Command is like playing an episode of The Expanse. Maps and movement are all in three dimensions while asteroids and gas clouds are used to ambush enemies. Sensors, tracing, intelligence and tactics are the resources in this space real-time tactics game. Weapons range from lasers and missiles to mech cannons and electronic jamming while ships have no health bars but armor, system and crews which all take damage and operate individually. The built-in fleet editor lets you customize these as well as your fleet composition. 
Total War is upon us again. Yes, I'm talking about Warhammer 3, the one where you finally step into the realm of chaos and face the four ruinous powers. The Kingdom of Kislev with battle polar bears, Empire of Cathay with dragons and ogre kingdoms with, well, the ogres are the least of fantasy units this RTS and turn-based hybrid has to offer. There are new survival battles in the realm of chaos and minor settlement battles. There is a whole new campaign map, but you can play all three maps combined. Cascade Tactics is a turn-based party RPG in which you choose and lead a team of mercenaries of different classes and interesting combat abilities in a medieval land full of magic and mythical creatures. You have to learn ability and spell synergies as well as to upgrade your character's equipment if you are to survive in combat on all sorts of maps against a host of different enemies. There is a dual class system and you can pick commanders, ninjas, sentinels, pyromancers, archers and lancers to fight for you. Lords of Soul Ground is a mix of city building and RTS and a throwback to knights and merchants with detailed animations, many gameplay systems and set in the medieval age. It has some magic, spiritualism and fantastical elements while you have to manage your economy so your people have food and homes. These upgrades provide higher income but then want luxuries. Soldiers and combat are present as well as research, markets, events and an editor so you can create new maps, campaigns or mini scenarios and share them. Leave No One Behind Ladang is a tactical real-time war game inspired by true events set in 1965 Vietnam War and it puts you in the combat boots of an American infantry platoon commander. Not only do you have to clear landing zones and camps from enemy forces, but also keep your wounded soldiers alive and well. Combat success earns you points, which can be spent on upgrades, new troops and supports like artillery or bombing runs, but heavy losses and leaving men behind cuts off that and makes future missions even harder. Airborne Kingdom is a city builder in which your city flies across a randomized world in which you have to find materials with which to expand the city with new homes and service buildings. Your population requires food, medicine and lots of other things, while if you overload the precarious lift to mass balance, the city will start to fall. You can make allegiances with ground kingdoms while looking into secrets of shrines and ruins of the previous airborne kingdom. There are creative hard and new game plus modes to enjoy. Drill Deal Oil Tycoon is all about getting that black gold and making a fat profit. You develop your businesses from a single oil rig while dealing with weather, terrorists, fire and other major issues such as protecting your crews from deadly diseases. Later you construct large and far more complex platforms for extraction and at the same time conquer new markets to sell more oil. There is the freezing arctic with snow and blizzards to play on but also tropical pirate infested waters and even haunted islands. Distant Worlds 2 is a sequel of a possible real-time 4x strategy game which lets you automate many gameplay elements. You have massive galaxies to explore and battle over with packed star systems, asteroid fields, galactic storms and black holes after you pick one of the seven base species. Build, expand and improve your empire while playing through the storylines with victory conditions or just an open-ended sandbox game. There are also other empires, independent alien colonies, traders, pirates and space monsters. Homewind is a minimalistic medieval settlement builder a bit similar to Dorf Romantic. It's a pleasant, relaxing and non-grid puzzle game in a procedurally generated world with more than a hundred levels where you earn contracts to unlock larger maps. Your aim is to plan out your build in such a way that you achieve high prosperity allowing you to scale the settlement further. There are castles, walls, farms, fields, rivers, swamps, snowy peaks and even some land reclamation with platforms on water. High Rise City lets you put on a mayor's hat and build your dream town but it also lets you go into the details of resource management and delivery in a modern setting. There are many production chains with 50 different resources, standard RCI zones, 5 different population classes, 250 different buildings and you can go all the way to 1 million citizens. There is also research of laws and technology with mod support and Steam Workshop integration with an editor mode. Chromosome Evil is a class-based survival RTS with Lovecraftian lore in which your squad must survive an onslaught of nightmarish creatures, reanimated dead and other abominations. There are soldiers who are specialized in killing, medics who keep your team alive but also engineers who set up barricades and traps. Outside of battle you manage your team's composition, their equipment and skills you want them to use and practice. Your mission is to discover why and how these creatures keep coming back from the underground. Smart Factory Tycoon is a management game about designing, building and running your own dream factory with machines and robots. 
You plan everything yourself, set up production, research new technologies and purchase all you need from the market with the aim of producing healthy and durable products. There are turbines and solar panels to reduce electricity costs, extra buildings to deliver your products by rail, sea and air, and you can even go green by planting trees in your garden to have a sustainable factory. The Fertile Crescent is an indie RTS, totally out of a garage type project, which aims to be a retro version of Age of Empires, but with some welcome upgrades and additional features like automatic generation of new villagers. The setting is the Bronze Age, there are several modes to play in single and multiplayer with resource collection, base building, technology research, walls and defenses and training units. It is inspired by the rise and fall of civilizations and factions are based on historic nations. Weird West is a semi-open world CRPG but also an immersive simulation where you play through the interconnected stories of several protagonists in the Old West which is filled with dark magic and monstrous creatures. There are stealth mechanics, character perks and skills and repercussions to your choices because of which each playthrough is unique as the game tailors the story to the player's actions for an ideal dramatic arc. Here lawmen and gunslingers share the frontier with fantastical creatures. The Iron Note is a turn-based tactical RPG focused on combat tactics and immersive decision making done in pixel art. You are a manager of a mercenary company who recruits and trains fighters while managing finances and supplies. Set in a vast and dynamic world with five different regions and biomes, each playthrough spans across centuries while fighters have diverse backgrounds and as they rank up you can specialize them into specific roles. These characters interact with one another and even weigh in on the decisions you have to make during contracts. Terraformers is a colony builder on Mars with resource management. You develop new cities in both craters and lava tubes while directing an ambitious terraforming project. Leaders of the colonists can be sent to mysterious locations to discover resource deposits, crystal caves and even natural wonders. Resources are used to manufacture goods and sell them through the transport system. You can restart a volcano, construct giant space mirrors, crash ice asteroids and geoengineer the entire planet. King Arthur Knight's Tale is coming out of early access and it's developed into an excellent party turn-based tactical and character-centric RPG game. It now has a PvP mode, management inside Camelot has been changed a bit and lots of minor and larger gameplay improvements have been made. Your quest remains the same, take down the animated corpse of King Arthur and stop him from destroying the whole land. Your party of heroes is chosen from 6 classes with hundreds of skills and artifacts and no small amount of cunning. Galactic Civilizations 4 is a turn based 4x strategy which brings us new alien civilizations and worlds to colonize and exploit with more advanced sci-fi technologies. Maps have separate sectors and movement is free for Plant invasions are more involved, while in combat you can retreat or call in reinforcements and most plants are colony worlds managed by governors supplying the core worlds. Executive orders are introduced and the sandbox mode is getting story driven missions with events and anomalies. Dune Spice Wars is an RTS with 4x elements, specifically civilization style building from the developers of Norgard, featuring gameplay with a resource management system centered on the spice, exploration of sandworm filled deserts, economic growth, combat, politics, spying, even covert operations. You can be a leader of the Atreides, Harkonnen, Freeman or Smugglers on procedurally generated maps of Arrakis with lots of customization and unique landmarks from the Dune lore. There is multiplayer skirmish and single player campaign to play in. Closen Panzer Battles is a World War II turn based strategy featuring a branching campaign with over 60 scenarios covering several theaters of war, customization options for the whole army and individual units with 100 skills, traits and flaws in a classical gameplay experience for Panzer General fans. Besides regular ground warfare, you can use a navy and air force, blow up and repair bridges, dig fortifications and lay minefields. Multiplayer has hot seat and online modes and there is a scenario editor. Prehistoric Kingdom came to early access with 23 prehistoric animals, 3 maps, animal welfare, basic economy and a lot more for you to manage in an ultimate zoo for extinct animals. From the majestic woolly mammoth to the mighty Tyrannosaur Rex, it is your job to find the creatures and genetic skins by discovering genetic material from all over the globe. You get to design and decorate beautiful habitats using powerful creative tools along with shaping vegetation, rivers and even mountains. Kaiju Wars is a 2D turn based sci-fi strategy game set about the desperate defense of a city against 5 different kaijus who mutate and get stronger over time. Use tanks and jets as cannon fodder to slow down these monsters until your scientists develop experimental weapons and top military minds figure out new tactics. Play in hot seat or online multiplayer as either sides or embark on a campaign run and uncover a mystery or two across the world. Trigun Space Story is a roguelike sci-fi adventure and a mix between FTL and a banner ship in which you fly an upgradable ship with many subsystems and a custom crew through a danger-filled galaxy. 
You go up against pirates, man-eating aliens and crazed robots while progressing through the story missions. Combat is real-time with a pause, you can employ many different weapon systems, fire energy weapons, missiles, mines and drones against ever stronger opponents. Your crew will level up, but also often die. Capital Sparks of Revolution is a sandbox economic simulation and a city builder about the struggle between social classes. You get to be the mayor of a city in crisis where the people first protest and then riot over vital resources. There are epidemics, accidents, sabotage and hostage situations. You will research new technologies, fight crime, tackle corruption and adopt laws to improve the lives of your citizens while the rest might drag you out into the streets and burn down your manor. Oaken is a roguelike tactical turn-based game with deck building in a magical land among actual branches of a great oak. Its inhabitants are spirits which have some Celtic and tribal looks and among them you gather your party to either heal or destroy the great oak. You do have to keep your main hero, the lady, alive during battles on hex-based maps or it's game over. Those maps are randomly generated from a non-linear tree world map with tons of details, bosses and events and come in a variety of biomes. Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters is a turn-based tactical RPG in which you lead your own personalized squad of Grey Knights in a story-driven campaign and use their talents and weapons to obliterate an intergalactic plague and forces of chaos. The precision targeting system gives you full control and plan ability for every shot in every fight on battlefields with dynamic destructible environments. Each Space Marine's voice, armor and facial options are totally customizable and you have your own base to upgrade. Line War is a mix of RTS, Forex, Auto Battler and real-time tactics and it is less about management and more about planning, drawing orders and executing a superior strategy for the win. It is set on a symmetric, procedurally generated world where you select starting and later conquer territories, construct towns, cities, mines industries, ports and trade routes to earn capital, power and fuel for modern units like infantry, tanks, artillery, planes and ships. It features single player and multiplayer game modes. Songs of Conquest is a turn-based strategy game set in a fantasy land where four factions fight in an epic conflict in diverse biomes and environments full of loot, monsters, town keeps, resources and powerful magicians called wielders. They recruit and lead armies, unlock spells, capture resources and production buildings. Towns can be expanded and new tech researched while players have an in-game level editor which allows them to create new skirmish maps or even whole campaigns with dialogue and scripts using developer tools. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 is a pure combat sandbox on massive maps with insane numbers of units going as high as your PC can handle. Soldiers from every age are joined on the battlefield by tanks, ducks, dinosaurs, fantasy creatures, zombies and even famous movie characters. There is a first person mode with combat controls, working ragdoll physics and millions of individual units fighting, bleeding, screaming and dying. Players can create and share their setups and even whole campaigns for endless fun. Cantata is a sci-fi turn-based character-driven tactical strategy game with building and even mini production chains which incorporate elements from many different strategy subgenres. You play as a commander for machines, humans or aliens as they fight a war of conquest on huge maps and a single planet which fights for itself with its weather, fauna and some mysteries. Each faction has unique units, powers and abilities which you only use after figuring out how to construct them. Level editor is included from day one. Old World is a 4x historical turn-based strategy game with a turn limit where you lead your dynasty of choice and all family members as individual characters with different personalities, strengths and weaknesses. They become your governors, diplomats, spy masters and spouses. There are over 3000 unique events and you can discover artifacts and great heroes at ruins on the map, but be prepared to fight barbarians, nomads and other nations. Its expansion The Heroes of the Aegean contains scenarios throughout Greek history. Crossfire Legion is a classic RTS from the developers of Homeworld that is a mix of Command and Conquer, Starcraft and Halo Wars, meaning fast air and land combat, resource collection, base building and unit roster choices. There are three boarding sides with very different units and special abilities as well as commanders with their own battlefield abilities just like in CNC generals. It features a single player campaign, multiple multiplayer modes, ranked leaderboards, replays and a level editor with Steam Workshop support. Out There, Oceans of Time is a roguelike space exploration and management game in which you explore the cosmos with your ship and crew and each playthrough is different. There is a deep and branching narrative where you search for the Archon, a cosmic villain set on dominating all galactic civilizations. You recruit new team members from alien races, manage your crew, your ship and its systems while exploring memorable locations and collecting many different resources so you can continue the journey and finish your mission. Captain of Industry is both a production and a colony simulation game in which you start with a few 
two survivors, an empty island and a ship with the aim of building an industrial empire. From mixing concrete you advance to rocket parts as you cover the island with transportation networks of vehicles, belts and pipes, as well as factories and farms. You will explore and deform the terrain, research tech, upgrade your ship, fight pirates and trade, but your logistics will remain the soul of your island and your factories its heart. Starship Troopers Terran Command is an RTS set in the book and movie universe in which humans fight against a race of huge insects with hive mind mentality. There is a story driven campaign with several important characters as the mobile infantry fights bugs on a desert planet. You will have access to different unit types and special abilities, gun emplacements, dropships, while bugs of different size and shape can burrow and fly. There is terrain elevation, true line of sight and true line of fire which provide tactical gameplay. Good Company is a management simulation about starting and building up a new tech corporation. There is a campaign mode and you have full control of logistics, factory floors and buildings, production lines and investments as well as employees and research. The goal is to design, build and sell high quality products on the market for maximum profits while improving production efficiency. Conveyor belts and automated machines are a feature and you can complete different challenge levels and play in multiplayer. These were of course not absolutely all strategy games published by July 2022, so feel free to tell me which ones you enjoyed and I didn't mention, and I will see what I can do about them in my next videos. Remember to like the video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to see more. There is still half a year ahead and these cards on the screen will show you games you can look forward to. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!